Good morning, guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel for another What I Eat in a Day video. I'm starting off the day with 32 ounces of water. I gotta start off my day with water because it's so important to hydrate my body first thing in the morning. And I personally like to add some type of fruit to my water just to make it taste even better. And cucumber specifically just adds such a nice flavor. Even though I eat a diet that's naturally high in water content, it's still so important that I get in my water daily. So after my water, I'll either have um, some more water from a fresh young coconut or some type of fruit juice. Coconut water is just loaded with so many vitamins and minerals and it just tastes so freaking good. For breakfast, I'm having some nice cream. Spring is finally here and it's starting to warm up a lot here in Georgia, so nice cream has been my go-to lately. I'm adding in some bananas. I added about seven bananas or so, a scoop of raw vanilla protein from Garden of Life, not really necessary, but I like to add it for that creamy vanilla flavor. You can simply add vanilla bean instead. Then I'm using my Vitamix to blend until the consistency becomes all creamy and smooth. Y'all, this was so freaking good. So much better than regular ice cream. And I would know because I would literally eat so much haagen ice cream growing up. Like a lot of it, it would be my breakfast, lunch, and dinner some days. My mom would always like yell at me and be like, Ashley, what are you doing? I was addicted. I was addicted to dairy even though I knew I had an intolerance because I would get like these terrible stomach cramps and major constipation after eating it. But when I discovered nice cream, I was like, oh yes, this is it. I'm no longer eating regular ice cream ever again. <laughs> I decided to top off my nice cream with some chopped up dates. I also sprinkled on some hemp seeds and added on about a tablespoon of raw almond butter because why not also added on some raw blue agave nectar if it wasn't already sweet leave it to me to add some more sweet deliciousness <laughs> and that's breakfast you guys hella sweet delicious creamy cruelty free and a nice blend of healthy carbs healthy fats and proteins yum For lunch, I'm enjoying a juicy honeydew melon. The honeydews here have been so sweet, you guys. And recently I've just been enjoying lots of fruit for the majority of the day until about dinner time. Um, that's where I'll typically have my big salads with lots of veggies in it. Um, but I've just been enjoying my fruits lately. They've been so hydrating, sweet, um, remineralizing, and they're absolutely perfect to enjoy on a nice hot spring day. For a midday snack, I'm enjoying some delicious kale chips that I dehydrated earlier. Um, kale chips are probably one of my favorite go-to snacks along with some dehydrated buffalo cauliflower wings. Those things are so good. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see a video on how I make my snacks. And for dinner, I decided to make a bomb chili recipe. I've included the recipe for it in the description box below if you guys are interested. For this recipe, you're going to need lots of tomatoes. I'm using heirloom on the vine and cherry tomatoes for this recipe. These heirlooms were so sweet, you guys. I was literally getting the juice all over my face. I loved it. Um, and by the way, guys, the reason why I'm using so many ingredients here is because I'm actually sharing this recipe with a friend. So if you wanna make this recipe for just yourself, then simply cut the portion sizes of this recipe in half. I also decided to chop up some additional ingredients like red bell pepper, some fresh garlic, some onion. I'm using yellow onion here, but if all you have is red, that's okay too. That works as a nice substitute. I just personally feel like it tastes better if you add yellow. I'm also gonna be adding in some fresh corn. And then once all our ingredients are prepped, I'm gonna place about half of the ingredients into a separate bowl. I'm gonna put it off to the side and then place the other half into a food processor to make the chili sauce. Starting with the fresh tomatoes, corn, bell pepper, onion, and garlic. And lastly, some spices to give it the extra oomph. I decided to add some chili powder, cumin, oregano, and some sea salt to taste. I'm gonna pulse it up until it becomes a very smooth consistency. Looks like actual chili, huh? I know. <laughs> Tastes like it too, but better of course. I'm then gonna add my chili sauce into a mason jar, give it a nice little stir to blend up all of the delicious flavors, and then I'm gonna pour my sauce on top. Oh yes, look at that, so good. Mm -hmm. 
after I've finished mixing up my chili, I'm gonna put it off to the side and whip back out my food processor to make my taco meat. It's very simple to make. All you're gonna need is some walnuts, an array of spices. I added some cumin, coriander, coconut aminos, a smidge of olive oil, and some salt to taste. I'm gonna pulse it up again until it resembles this type of consistency. And for some toppings on my chili, I decided to add in some avocado, of course, because I love it so much. This one was so buttery and it was just perfect. Now it's time to serve the chili. I know the idea of eating chili cold and without any beans may be weird for some of you guys, but it doesn't have to be, right? Like, trust me, you guys, you'll absolutely love this recipe. It's so delicious, so healthy, and just does your body so much good. Now I'm adding on my toppings. I also decided to add on some green onions on top to garnish as well as the avocado. And I also decided to add some fresh cilantro leaves on the side to make it all pretty and fancy, you know? I also decided to add on some black pepper and some dried cilantro for some finishing touches. And that's it, you guys. How delicious do these look? Oh my gosh, and they absolutely smelled so freaking incredible. Even Luz came running. He always literally wants everything that I make. <laughs> But yeah, guys, definitely try this recipe out. Let me know how you like it. I promise you won't be disappointed. These were absolutely so amazing. I enjoyed my chili on the couch while enjoying some amazing company. Um, we just ended up chilling for a bit, vibing, listening to some music on the Alexa. I watched a couple shows on Netflix, um, I gave Luce some snuggles and kisses because I just love to spoil him with love. Later that evening, I enjoyed the most incredible fireworks show at the apartment and such an incredible day. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more upcoming raw vegan content. Feel free to follow me on socials at Blooming Raw. I love connecting with you guys and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!